This is Daily Gold, let us begin. Okay, so starting off for today, I decided to go over towards the Steam Vaults within Zanga Marsh. Now, the thing with Steam Vaults is there is actually quite a lot of mobs right at the beginning, so I actually held hope of getting a decent chunk of gold with everything. As I'm able to pull in a load of different types of moats, which can be turned into primals, Predominantly, it is the moats of water and moats of life. They can be obtained from most of the mobs from there, and you can also get a clam called the Jaggle Clam, which can contain the pearls, which you can also sell on the auction house as a side note. The thing for everything else for today, let's get into the results. Jumping in towards everything and jumping in towards worth it, we can go into my farms and we can look up the steam vaults. Now coming over towards the steam vaults, we can have a look at this. Unfortunately, it only came to about 30,000 golds worth of value on the region market average. Overall, looking at this, it didn't actually equate to it all that much. We got a bit of the blood fist gear, and we got some Skettis stuff, but realistically, it really didn't pale that well when it comes towards everything else for today. The main things of note that I actually got from here was like the Jaggle Clams and the Moats of Life and Water, but if we're going for Transmog, yeah, after doing this data farm for the data for worth it, this one actually doesn't provide that much value in, in the grand scheme of things. Now you do run the chance of getting a hold of the uh, the rare recipes from this because you've got like the humanoid mobs and everything in there. Overall for an hour's worth of farming I didn't really get all that much. When it comes towards everything else for today let's have a look at what it actually was for me on my auction house. So if we go in towards here, good thing my auctions haven't ended just yet. And if we go over towards Steam Vaults, we got 19 items equating into 19,469 gold worth of transmog for this. This is all pretty much low end stuff besides like a couple of swords, which are like 7,000. And the trident pole arm, which is like 2,000. And another pole arm, which is like nearly 2,000. So mainly the weapons are going for a lot more than the actual items of note. So overall, is it really worth it? Probably not, which is kind of disappointing because I really thought Steam Vaults was actually going to provide a decent amount of value for this. But if we go in towards our mailbox quickly, we can have a look at what we've actually got. And we managed to sell five primal water for 922 gold. The Jaggle Clam meats, we sold all of it for 10 gold. Haha. <laughs> but overall, we sold all of the essence of water that we actually got from there. I remembered like halfway through that essence of water can drop from these dungeons, so I was like, oh, okay, cool. So I managed to sell all of those, Primal Life, not really any transmog besides like a couple of little ones that aren't worth a great deal. I don't know how they made that through the cut for sifting through everything, so I'll have to go through everything. But 2,094 gold overall, pull that in, that's 227,432 gold. Go in towards our TSM and we can see the nice graph is currently trending up. I need to update my TSM. That being said, we, our biggest gold earner is the Mech Builders overalls from the other day. Not too bad. And our main, ex apparently we have an expense. I'm guessing that's all towards like relisting on the auction house. And the maximum profit is obviously that. So overall with everything to that effect, not that much of a great gold farm. We do have one more in this area. So if we go over towards everything else, I know you guys have been busy gathering up data as well, so we'll have a look. Apparently uh, Mana Tombs got added to that as well, and if we keep going towards everything else along with that, we can see that the Blood Furnace, but, but Steam Vaults is done, so we've got Slave Pens, Mechanar, and the Architraz to do, so that's three days worth. For everything else for tomorrow, I'm probably not going to be uploading a video, I'm going to be doing a compiler for the Worth It beta to go up on the Patreon. The Worth It data sheet will be updated because I will do a gold farm for that prior to everything of that effect, and hopefully, just hopefully, I'll be able to get a little bit more done when it comes towards all of the other compiling stuff for everyone in the next upcoming days in regards to gold, gold making, like, as in, like, the Patreon content. Obviously, we've just added to the farming module 
for the TSM Mega Profile for Patreon Pro, so I'll have to be updating that, and that will be added towards the website on that effect. A uh, little side note for you guys for today is when it comes towards the website, you can see obviously Dalla GG Studios, blah, 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 and you've got all of the worth it add-on stuff and everything, but if you go over to Rewards Resources, not the Patreon stuff, because that's the main hub for Patreon, but if you go over towards Roots, Guides, and Worth It Exports, there's a load of free content for everyone. So if we go over towards Roots, we've got the actual Roots library in here, as well as a load of Worth It Exports for prospecting, and the guides for that effect as well, if you want, to, guys want to get started into gold making as well. Because I saw a few comments asking about that type of stuff the other day, so the link is in the description if you want to use those free resources. Other than that, I'm going to get cracking, get get working on everything else for today. It's going to be a bit of a mad rush. So that being said, have an awesome one and I shall see you in the next video, which will be soon. Mm -hmm.